Get me a vodka rocks. Mom, it's breakfast. And a piece of toast. Please, Stan Sitwell's coming over. That hairless freak is coming here? None of his hair is real, you know. You mean the guy we're meeting with can't even grow his own hair? Come on! It's called alopecia, and I'd appreciate it if we could all be sensitive to it, okay? He happens to be a very modest and generous man. Modest and generous? Then why is he always waving giant $10 million checks over his head every time some... Go ahead, Mom, finish your thought. Every time some children's hospital needs funding? Nonetheless, we could get a giant checkbook, too. We're just not that starved for attention. And later, Sitwell laid out his plan. Sorry that my son couldn't be here. Let me guess, girlfriend. <laughs> well, you know, it could be worse. He could want to marry your mother. <laughs> well, I'm sorry, is your family not laughing at that yet? Okay, let me tell you what I'm offering. You've got a wonderful piece of property here that's going nowhere. So what I propose is a co-venture with your Sudden Valley development. The first thing you might want to change, though, is the name. You know, Sudden Valley conjures up the image of a sinkhole, no? I told that to dad. I told that to my dad. I'm thinking Paradise Gardens. I swear to God, I have that written. I want you to see that so you don't think that I'm. I, I have that written down on my notebook. When George Sr. was in charge, he had a habit of shooting down any idea Michael came up with. And Sudden Valley just sort of implies that something awful could happen all of a sudden. You know, plus it's on a hill. What are you taking, stupid pills? Come on. Save us some money. This was a management tool that he used to keep Michael working for his approval. That was a hard one to say no to. The only thing I ask is out of the 450 homes we build, one be given to a disadvantaged family from the inner city. That's great. So the other 449 families live in fear? Is that what we're saying? I mean, come on. Where's your decent... What the hell just fell off your face? No, what, what, one of this guy's eyebrows just fell in the bowl of candy beans. I always carry a spare. Well, I hope you also carry a spare bowl of candy beans. Joe. I'm very impressed with the offer, and I'm going to run it upstairs, see what kind of reaction it gets, so to speak. Michael hoped to impress his father. I think it all sounds pretty good. Pretty good. It was horrible. What do you take it, stupid pills again? <sighs> but their old dynamic returned when George Sr. did. Job was the only one down there who knew how to handle that hairless freak. Thank God we have Job on our team. You know, Dad, Job doesn't really do all that much for our team. In fact, I think it's time that I get put back in charge. Michael, listen to me. Lately, your ideas are horrible. And Sitwell's just trying to figure out our batting order for the softball game on Saturday, I'm telling you. Job said the same thing, Dad, but I, I, I doubt that this guy's trying to drop $15 million to find out our batting order. Hey, this game goes way, way back. It was a fierce rivalry, with George Sr. using everything at his disposal to win. No hair! They've got no hair! While Stan Sitwell used the game to raise no funds. Hair for underprivileged children. Uh oh I think one of your orphans is heading toward the street. You're right, sweet. You go down there, and you, you, you tell him to go screw himself, and you apologize to your brother. We need him on our side, and we need him happy. Where's Sitwell? Sorry, I told him to screw off. But get this, he offered me a job. What? Well, I'm not waiting on my brother. I pass. You look surprised. I'm sorry, I must have put it on too high. But you were right. It was a bad offer and you were smart enough not to take it. You got gumption, you speak your mind. That means you're good enough to work for me. F you. And I accepted. He's waiting for me outside. We're gonna swing by his wig maker. His just woke up hair is finally ready. You're really gonna do this? It's ready, Mike. They're only gonna hold it for 24 hours.